But now, because a nigga went and did what you niggas be rapping about, he a fuck nigga. Are you for this culture or not? Do you like rap music or not? Do you like gangster music or not? Do you like niggas to be authentic with what they saying? Or do you like that play play, Takashi 12, Trippy Red, Uzi Vert shit? You know that niggas don't see these goddamn uh, dyed hair niggas as no real fucking threats? If, if some goddamn arcade, look, I, I said that shit last night. Uh, the XXX fans look like the motherfuckers that'll be in the arcade at the mall. You know what I'm saying? My olive leaf. Olive leaf extract is good for naturally lowering your blood pressure, regulating your diabetic blood sugar, lupus, fibroid, STDs, and a whole bunch of other shit that you're gonna need in the bedroom, big home. Now, to get your bottle, you go to myoliveleaf.biz or call 612 567 3263. Get your shit together, big home. Who those other individuals are if it's not the soldier kid dude in them i think the fans need to go back and try to give them an apology if that's the case because they welcome back to the big facts podcast i am ao canseco fearless leader of ao nation and this is are you fucking serious i did a video last night about um the geneva girl and how uh and how I don't got my chapstick. I don't got my chapstick. I don't feel right without my chapstick. Oh, Alright, let me go. Gotta have my comic. I, I I can't even talk about my comic. I'm not finna be on this whole looking crusty and rusty. Big homie Derek, the tattoo man, some fuck nigga. Yada yada, but what we mad about? Okay, let's talk about it. What we mad about? Because homie seen food and he got it. Are we mad that a street nigga did some street shit? I'm not even going to the snitch part because he's snitching and shit like that. But let's let's go into the first part of it. You niggas in your song every day, all day long, every song you make, you talk about if you see a pussy nigga with something that he don't deserve, you're going to take it from him. You're going to rob a nigga who you think is sweet. If it's sweet, you're going to go get it. So now it's not good. That, that ain't cool no more, right? It ain't cool to rob somebody that you feel is sweet. Any other nigga who would have got away with that much money that saw him something sweet and he went and got it, you niggas would be praying. Why that nigga? Ooh, real street nigga. It's a million niggas that's locked up right now for doing the exact same thing. And them niggas is praised as real street niggas. Well, that nigga, that's gonna go get it. What real talk, what? Niggas brag about being close to the... Niggas brag about being close to the nigga that'll do some shit like that. Look, I know you're enjoying your video, but give me one second. When you go to the PayPal to donate, all my AO Nation members, do not go to paying for item and services. It holds the money and it's charging you. If you have done that, if you've donated and you've hit paying for item and services, you need to go back and release those funds. I have not gotten them. Uh, even if you're buying a shirt, do not hit paying for an item of service. It's charging you. Go to send money to a friend. It's two options. And hit the send money to a friend so that it comes straight to me and we don't have to release them because they're asking for a tracking number, which obviously I don't have if you're giving a donation. Even with the shirts, I'm not going to have that tracking number. If you want the shirts, just put $25 in the PayPal and then go to the messenger and give me your address. And in three or five business days, you will have the All You See Your Shirt. Uh, all my local artists and advertisers, you need to have a hundred dollar budget if you want to do business. Also, you need to be ready to promote. Do not hit me until you're ready to promote. Period. Point blank. I don't want to talk about your idea, about your company, and no shit like that. I have too much going on. If you're an artist and you want feedback and advice on your song, you need to send a thirty-five dollar deposit so I can listen to it and give you the feedback. I don't have time to do this shit for free. Okay. Um, what else? Uh, T-shirts, PayPal. Advertising. That's it. Uh, this is Saki, and this is Aki. So if you hear me fussing them in the background, now you know what they look like. I'll see y'all in a minute. Enjoy the video. So what are you saying? 
that you not about that shit you talking about? Are you not about killing niggas? I'm asking you, are you not about killing niggas? Are you not about robbing niggas? What about the niggas who robbed Rich the Kid? Y'all niggas clowning Rich the Kid. What's go what we doing? What we doing? The motherfuckers who robbed Safari. What we doing? It, it, it is, so we we hold killers like the reason why y'all fuck with Chief Keep is because he a real driller and shit like that. Every rapper you fuck with is a real street nigga, a real killer. When you find out they that, that they not real killers, you bash the motherfuckers. Just as soon as you find out a nigga ain't about what he talking about, his career is over. If a nigga got a job, his career is over. But now, because a nigga went and did what you niggas be rapping about, he a fuck nigga. Are you for this culture or not? Do you like rap music or not? Do you like gangster music or not? Do you like niggas to be authentic with what they saying? Or do you like that play play Takashi 12, Trippy Red, Uzi Vert shit? You know that niggas don't see these goddamn uh, dyed hair niggas as no real fucking threats. If if some goddamn arcade look, I, I said that shit last night. Um, the XXX fans look like the motherfuckers that'll be in the arcade at the mall. You know what I'm saying? You know the motherfuckers that be in the goddamn arcade doing that goddamn. Fuck! Doing the goddamn dance machine shit. Just be on that shit. You know what I'm saying? The motherfuckers who smell like, you know what I'm saying, socks and underarms. You know when you walk by the goddamn uh, arcade, when you go past McDonald's in the mall? Motherfucker got them big ass pants on and a fat white girl and that one black dude that just looked like he got a fucking uh, a, a black sweatshirt on. Not a, not a black hoodie, a black sweatshirt on. Just walking with the white boy with the goddamn all the fucking gauges in his ear and shit like that. This is who they are. If you see a motherfucker like that just walking through the neighborhood and you know that he got a bag, you don't think that's a sweet lick? You can pass up on that lick? You a street nigga, but you can pass up on a sweet lick? This nigga live what you niggas talk about, but y'all gonna do what? Y'all gonna bash him? Now, let's, I, I'm not going to the snitch part yet. I'm, I'm trying to see what the confusion, I'm trying to see what the fucked up part is. So not killing and robbing niggas is bad? No, we talk that street talk, that street talk. No, we talk that lick talk, that lick talk. This what this is. This what we love, this what we rock to. We like real street niggas. If, if a nigga don't live what he be talking about, then we don't even fuck with him. But nah, that, that, that's wrong, man. That's fucking bullshit. You're a fucking, fucking coward, man. So what you think these niggas is living, dog? These real street niggas that rap, what you think they living, dog? See, this is why I fuck. See, y'all need to get this fucking snap back too. This is 24 karat black. What 24 karat black stands for is we're worth something. Like we're worth more than gold. This melanated skin that we in, it means something. Until we actually get that mindset, this shit is always gonna be celebrated. It's going to be celebrated to rob another black man. I guarantee that to kill another black man. I guarantee you that it could have been that same weak ass. It could have been a white boy in that car with more money in an even bigger car, but they would not have hit him. Because we see no fucking worth in our black skin. We see no worth in somebody that looked like us. When I was doing that money shit, whatever like that. You know, I, I, I was trying to, you know what I'm saying, put niggas on and shit like that. And he was like, oh, hell no, nah, bro, I ain't doing, hell no, nah, that's that fed shit, bro, I ain't fuck with that shit. That, that, that's the white folk money, bro, I ain't fuck with that shit. But these be the same motherfuckers that'll run up in a goddamn Burger King. They'll run up in a nigga house and lay some shit down. Real killers, but them niggas like, hell fuck, I'm talking real street nigga, hell fuck, I ain't fuck with that shit, boy. Hell no, nah, but that money shit, that's that fed shit, bro. Hell no, nah, I ain't fuck with that shit. Niggas see no worth in another black man, in another black person. All these niggas that have gotten killed, robbed, beaten, you laugh at these niggas. You celebrate 
the shoot. Like, motherfuckers say, like, I don't respect the nigga who got shot. I respect the shooter. This nigga gonna go to jail and be, I went and got it. And you cannot say that you don't fuck with that mindset because you gonna go after this video go off, you gonna go right back to listening to every fucking artist that says the same goddamn thing in every one of their fucking songs. I kill some, I rob some, and I say a dope to your mama, my nigga. But now that you see it in real life, oh, this fuck, man, that's bullshit, man. That's fucking bullshit, bro. It's fucking bullshit, bro. Now you on the police side. Now you on the police side. You want a nigga to go to jail now. What happened to no snitching and shit? Where we at? Where we at? What happened to no snitching? What happened to fuck 12? What happened to go handle the shit your goddamn self, nigga? Y'all motherfuckers. You gonna bash a nigga for doing what the fuck niggas do every goddamn day. I guarantee it's plenty of niggas in the hood right now that say, man, that nigga shit, what the fuck? We gonna fight the case, but well, not with him because this nigga told and shit like that. He a stupid nigga, he a dumb nigga, and I'm, I'm with all that. I'm with all that retarded shit, he, he a dumb ass nigga. But that's the shit that I'm on, though. That's what I'm on. I'm on that. Y'all doing some retarded shit, like how the fuck is this cool to sell dope, you know what I'm saying, and go into the white man trap, the white supremacist trap. I'm on all that, you know what I'm saying, that bullshit about why the fuck is you working and making this white supremacist rich and you can't even get a, a promotion in your job, you nothing more than this. I don't give a fuck what the fuck you do. NFL players, NBA players, you a $40 million slave. Making a white supremacist rich. Dance for me, sing for me, goddamn uh, uh, run around the court for me, beat each other up. Anything that causes conflict between one strong black man and another strong black man, they put all their money into it. No different than on Django when them two Mandingo niggas, that nigga said finish him, put that goddamn helmet in that nigga eye, dog. Finish him! Finish him, I said! And you gonna do it for the white supremacist entertainment. I told you motherfuckers in that last video, I said that this goddamn event was a good thing for the goddamn culture. Now you get to see what the fuck is actually going on because you lame ass motherfuckers, all you lame ass niggas. You ain't never seen no street shit. You ain't no, now that shit coming right to your doorstep. And now, oh, fuck this shit, man. I don't want, I'm not with all this shit. But this is what you support, though. No. You support this. This is what you love. This is what you've turned rap music into. How many niggas can you kill? How many niggas can you rob? Not, we ain't doing nothing to no white folks in our music. We not doing nothing to no white folks. Nothing to no white people, period. What can you do to another nigga that's out here going through the same shit that you going through? How bad can you do them? That's what you support. Now that it's in your face and now you got to see it, God damn this shit real. Now you want to go in the house and be a police officer. Fuck no. If from this point on you support... The, the, the rap culture that is death rap, that is kill another nigga, then you can't, don't be mad at this because it's going to continue to happen. And this is the side that you own. You've chosen your side. If you're not for the betterment of the black people, if you're not for that, then you're for the destruction. If you're not for the betterment of us, we last. Let this wake you up. You in a trance. Let this wake you the fuck up. Niggas really die. Niggas really get robbed. This ain't no fucking social. This ain't fake, dog. This is it's real fucking life. Niggas die out here. If you got something and I need it and I'm out here and I think that you, I, if, I, if I can get it from you, I'm going to go get that, dog. I'm going to get that. Like, I'm, I don't know what the fuck you think this is. I don't know what the fuck you think you protected by. Dog, I will fucking, dog, I will take some shit from you, dog. And I'm trying in real dog, I, I'm trying, I would do some shit to you, dog. Real talk. I will play up under you and to do something to you, dog. And try and, and if I need it, I'm dog, I'm telling you. So you, you need to stay where you at, dog. Stay where the fuck you at. Behind them computer screens and, and all in the fucking arcade in the mall. Stay in them spots, dog. 
Because this shit right here ain't for you. The way y'all niggas acting, this shit right here ain't for you, dawg. Stop listening to this trap music, dawg. You need to ride around with them goddamn white boys in them big ass trucks listening to goddamn Master P them. This ain't for you, dawg. Niggas that want the street shit and this, this shit out here to change, like the real OG niggas that they did their time, they come back like, man, we need to stop this shit. It's because they didn't seen this shit. You little retarded motherfuckers ain't never seen shit for real. So now you're gonna be just like this Derrick William niggas. You gonna, nigga, you gonna wait until you get in the interrogation room to figure out that you're not about this shit. I, I, I'm not gonna go back into the whole snitching thing because I'm not gonna keep repeating myself about this snitching shit. Every nigga in the street is a fucking rat. If the nigga is in the street, he don't got no morals. A nigga that will sell dope to his elder, male or female, has no morals. His life matters more than anybody's life in the fucking street. So why in the fuck do you think he won't tell on you for him to be free? And ain't no motherfucking repercussions for it. You gotta get out of jail free card every time. Niggas ain't finna do shit to you when you snitch on a nigga, dog. As long as you come back out with that goddamn money, these motherfuckers ain't got no more. These motherfuckers are drug addicts. Motherfuckers ain't got no more. All they want some goddamn weed and some goddamn pills. You a bitch to bad shit and get everything the fuck that happened in the street by some goddamn snitching. You could've be, you could've be then killed the bitch cousin. If you got the bag and she want the bag, that hoe will sit right up under you, dog, and do everything the fuck you say, dog. Ain't no morals in the goddamn street. You goddamn right that nigga on side you right now gonna tell on you when y'all get fucked up, nigga. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. Y'all riding the car. Y'all goddamn hitting the bag, popping pills and shit like that. A nigga love everything when he hot. Ain't a goddamn thing a nigga don't love when he hot. That's the reason why niggas get hot. Because everything all good. You ain't got to worry about your problems. You think this nigga, this high-ass, junk-ass nigga finna hold it down in the interrogation room? This nigga don't give a fuck about his family, about his kids. This nigga want to get back out so he can do that goddamn dope, nigga. Don't nothing matter more than that goddamn dope to that nigga, dog. All the only thing police gotta do is put a nigga in the interrogation room, let that nigga sit for 24 hours. If that nigga can't get no goddamn weed, no coke, no goddamn pills, this nigga gonna start saying anything to get out that fucking room like a fucking rat in the trap. You retarded motherfuckers! This is real street, this nigga ain't gonna do nothing. Niggas ain't finna do shit for you, nigga! Retarded ass niggas! Ain't no fucking loyal to you, retarded motherfucker! Nigga, kill you for that goddamn little bit of money you got in your pocket right now, nigga. Think these niggas fuck with you and they smoking weed and shit like these niggas high as fuck. You think these niggas fuck with you? These niggas don't even know what fucking day it is. Let alone what your last name is. You just met this nigga when you were goddamn, you sold this nigga 10 pills. Now y'all the best of goddamn friends. Because you got the goddamn pick, you ain't know this nigga. When you ain't got no dope, you ain't got no motherfucking friends, nigga. You ain't got no money, you ain't got no friends, nigga. But every time you come up, you instead of letting everybody come around, it's a big ass party. Cause you keep on getting motherfucking hot. Retarded motherfuckers. Get the fuck off my goddamn show, nigga. Son of a bitch.